welcome back. Today we are in the kitchen and we are going to be making some chicken enchilada. All right, so we are going to be starting out with some chicken. This is our own chicken that we did raise. And then in our Instant Pot, we are going to be adding the chicken and some homemade chicken broth. So we're just gonna throw the chicken in here. And we are adding one cup of chicken broth. So now we are going to start the Instapot. We are going to set this on pressure cook for 25 minutes. Once the chicken is done cooking, we are going to manually exhaust our Instapot. And then we are going to add the chicken to a bowl and shred up this chicken. Now we are going to get started on the homemade enchilada sauce. So we are going to start off with one small onion and we're going to want to dice that up. So I'm just getting my Instant Pot started so I'm going to put my Instant Pot on saute. And you are going to want to add some oil in the bottom of your Instant Pot. Now once you have your onion all diced up, you are going to want to add that into your pot and you are going to want to cook that until the onion is translucent. So while our onion is cooking, we are going to go back onto our chicken filling mixture. So we are going to want to add salt and pepper to this. And then we are going to add some black beans. And I am adding some of our home canned jalapenos. We don't like our food spicy, so I just added a few of these jalapenos. You can add as many as you would like to your preference. Now we're just going to mix all that filling up. So I had too small of a bowl here, so I just added it to a bigger bowl so I could mix this up better. Alright, so now we are going back to our enchilada sauce and I am going to be adding some cumin and some chili powder. And 
once that has cooked for about a minute, you are going to want to add one tablespoon of flour. And you are going to just mix that in. And now you want to add one cup of chicken broth and we are using our homemade canned tomato sauce. You also want to add one cup of tomato sauce to your enchilada sauce. And you're going to want to bring that to a simmer and stir occasionally for five minutes. So once the sauce is done cooking, at this point you can put your sauce into a blender to make it smooth, but I opted out of that. So now you are going to take half of a cup of the enchilada sauce and put it on the bottom of your 13 by 9 baking pan. And then you are going to want to put half a cup of the sauce into your chicken mixture. And you're just going to want to mix that in with your chicken mixture. So now I'm taking some homemade flour tortillas and then you're just going to want to line that chicken mixture on the tortilla and then you're going to want to roll them up and put them into your 13 by 9 baking pan. So once you have filled your baking pan, now you are going to want to put the rest of that enchilada sauce on top of the rolled tortillas. So now you are going to want to top your rolled tortillas with some cheese. I'm using mozzarella cheese because that's what I had on hand, but you can use pretty much any type of cheese that you prefer. And now you are going to bake these in your oven at 350 for 25 minutes. And now that 25 minutes is up and you can pull your homemade, homegrown enchiladas out of your oven. I hope you enjoyed our video. Thanks for watching, guys.